Hello and welcome, my beautiful Pisces, my mermaids and mermen, my sea sponges of the sea, my fellow beautiful fish. First of all, offhand, I want to say that I've been late getting these out. I apologize for that. But for a lot of you, if you check the community page, you'll see that I lost my beloved pet, George. George has sort of been the mascot on this channel for a very long time. Actually, uh, he's been our beautiful mascot for 13 years. So we were dealing with that. Then compounded that, my husband ended up in the hospital with a major health issue. So on that note, I'm back and we're going to get through this. We always push th through this. We're Pisces. My husband's a Pisces. We believe in moving forward, trying to stay positive and know that we can deal with anything that comes down our path. So on that note, we're starting fresh. I want to wish all my Canadians today is Monday uh, the, the 10th and it is Thanksgiving Day here. So I wish all my Canadians a beautiful Thanksgiving. Okay, let's start off. Well, my beautiful mermaids and mermen, we've been given the card Storm and it says every hurricane will come to an end. So not to be afraid, just when we thought things were taking a turn for the better, in comes a hurricane of hurt. Now we can find ourselves utterly exhausted from trying trying to survive it all. We need to rest assured that the clouds are finally starting to part and making room for the much needed sun. But like the clouds, we should also let go of past or present pain in order to make room for something better. So it's interesting, um, you know, this week, as I had just told you, I'm working through my pain this week. Um, and we all do that in our own pace and in our own time and in our own way. So some of you may be going through some sort of a storm as well this today, and you're going to you're going to work your way through it. We're very adaptable, we're very changeable, and we have that ability to do that. The moon comes in with that, and it is the, the Pisces card, is it not? And this is about, you know, moving forward. When we get the moon, the moon is sort of a card of balance. And, and uh, you know, it, it, it's the card that says we're going to find uh, a way to stay on our path. And it is about accomplishments as well. Uh, we need to push through those illusions and push through the fear that we might be feeling today. But it also says that we can release our emotional armor and get out there and start living our life again, trusting our instincts and our God-given talents that we've got. The dog has been taught, the, the, the coyote or the wolf, he knows by instinct. So trust our, trusting our instincts today will help us get through and using what we've got in our database to get through any storms today. Now, coming in in our second card, we've got the garden, and it says something lovely will grow from this. So, beautiful card. Uh, you know, we get through these storms only to see that we're stronger and better for them, and we always seem to get through them, and something good will become, come of it in the end of the day. Either we sit around and we dwell on our pain, or we le learn how to grow something lovely out of it. Ready or not, it's time for the next chapter in our life to do the things we feel we most need to do in order to aid our healing. Even if it feels selfish, sometimes it needs to be a little selfish in order for us to work it in the work it out in the long run. Let's worry about focusing on us for now. So this is about, you know, again, healing through a situation, working through them, knowing that things, the sun's going to shine again, and we're going to be able to get through any of these storms today, any of the challenges, um, any of the hurt, any of the pain, any of the remorse, any of the grief, we're going to work our way through it. In with that comes a beautiful Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Cups is that card of love. There could be, you know, we could be shown lots of love, we could be shown uh, you know, support for the pain we're going through. The Ace of Cups is that ultimate love card. So we need to place ourselves today in that circle, in that circle of light and love. And it's going to give us the strength to take those deep inhalations and breaths that we so need when we're stressed out. That shallow breathing doesn't help us to bring in all the good that we need to have in order to push forward. Now, for some of you, Perhaps there's going to be a new love stepping forward. Someone may be there to give you support, a shoulder to lean into, a support system of some sort that loves you, that cares for you, and wants to profess that today. Coming in next, we have Homeward Bound. Take yourself out on a date. Don't sit around and wait for someone else to step up to the plate and do this for you. 
We're able to do what we want to do, when we want to do it, how we want to do it. We need to slow down and know that it's time to press the pause button and contemplate before the next leg of our journey. It's in those solitary introspective moments where we learn, you know, the most interesting and eye-opening things about ourselves. You know, we should take ourselves out on a date of sorts. Even if it's just a quiet and cozy night at home, we need to enjoy our own company. So let's liken this sort of to the hermit, right? Taking our time, pulling away, taking ourselves to that space and time to meditate, to ruminate, to reminisce, to think about what it is we want to do. And if it's nothing, so be it. So today is a day where you need to take care of yourself. My beautiful fellow Pisces, Coming in with that is the King of Cups. The King of Cups is the ultimate king. He's kind. He's caring. He's generous. He's loving. Um, and he's there to step up to the plate to, to give us that shoulder to lean into, to give us wise counsel and advice. You know, pretty much he sits there and says, hey, been there, done it, have the medal for it. Uh, I can help you through this process. Whatever these storms that you're going through, possibly today, Pisces, know that there will be somebody who can step forward. He does it because he truly cares. He doesn't want anything in return. He doesn't want to be paid for his time. He just wants to be there for you. If someone steps forward today, my beautiful Pisces, to wipe your tears, to, to, uh, to spend time with you, to give you consolation and to give you wise counsel, this is a blessing. Coming in with our final card, we've got Villain. Mm, okay, you can always rewrite your story. Interesting card, uh, the Villain and why they call it that. So, you know, a hard truth to swallow, sometimes our villains win, right? However, that doesn't mean you should give up or lose all hope. It just means that it's time to rewrite the story and keep going. It can be incredibly freeing and empowering to reclaim yourself as, you know, after a personal tragedy. So this whole thing is saying that we're healing through something today. Uh, whatever it is, you know, it, it may be the loss of a friend, a pet, a, you know, a, a, a relationship, a job, anything. And we are going to step up and we're going to be stronger for it today. Uh, we have the world in our hand and we and it is it's up to us to make our world what we want it to be. We've got the freedom now to do this and we will adapt and we will recreate and we will reinvent. Uh, this is what it's all about, my fellow Pisces. So the world is our oyster. This is a new beginning. This is a new cycle. Uh, the end of one and the beginning of a brand new one. So we've been given some great energy here to know that we're going to find the support that we need to get through any of these challenges today. Well, my beautiful Pisces, I wish you a beautiful remainder to today. Prosperous, healthy, happy, and successful. And always know I stand in this circle of love and light for you. And I'll see you soon, my fellow mermaids and mermen.